So we just finished clearing out the living room to start over from scratch and build most of the furniture ourselves, starting with the desktop. Cheap, simple and sturdy custom built table is what we were going for here. And for material we went with pine, simply because it's the cheapest option for big pieces of solid wood, since that was the look we were going for. It's hard to find the ones that are really straight. I think these are pretty good. This is probably the worst one. And we pretty much went through all the boards they had where we bought these. But since we're going for a rustic look on this table, a little bit of warping and natural cracks like this is just gonna add to the look that we want. We're also gonna have to cut the boards a tiny bit just to get rid of these slits, just because the edges are slightly rounded. So before we do that, I'm just gonna mark them up and label them so I know which order we had them laid out. So it's not looking too straight, but hopefully I'm just gonna have to be really careful when we glue these together. So this table is 83 centimeters wide and 210 centimeters long as soon as we clean up the ends a little bit after we glue it together. Gap, yeah. than before, right? Yeah. Uh, we got everything under control here. And this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number one is definitely the worst one. Why do I feel like I'm twisting this without anything happening? Because it's... Okay, let's get rid of this. Excess glue. Gonna try and get rid of as much as possible. It looks... It looks okay, I think. And now we wait. It's still very skewed, very twisted and uneven, but we bought a lot of sandpaper, so we should be fine. Three belts of each, 40 grit, 80 grit, and 120 grit. Feels pretty, pretty even, I'd say. Uh, but it's, uh, I think it's about time that we take it back up and place it on the legs, and then see whether it's leveled enough, or if we need to do some adjustments. It's pretty much straight, like a lot straighter than I thought it would be. So, be, so before we do the uh, staining and all that fun stuff, we'll go over the table once more with an 80 grit, a 120 grit, and then we might finish up with a 240 grit paper, just to get rid of all these really rough scratches from the, from the 40 grit paper. Finishing it off now with the 240 grit. <laughs> Almost forgot this end. I'm just gonna trim this off. I just wanna get rid of these edges that are poking out. Not gonna care too much if it's completely straight or not. Just uh, gonna do it by hand.
finally done sanding the table. It's time to do the fun stuff. It's time to stain it and paint it, add some details to make it look worn and old. So we're just gonna try a few different techniques and see where it lands and see where we, when we're happy with it. Done with the first coat. So there we go, done sanding it again. Wiped all the dust off, time for the next coat. We're gonna try the Mediterranean uh, and the charcoal color, both from SAR again. Whoa, this is dark. This is real dark. Whoa. I would say we go for a full coat of uh, Mediterranean. Yeah. We're gonna leave this spot just to see how it looks with all tree stains on top of each other over there and see what ha whatever happens. Table's now nice and dry. We're gonna add in a few more details to the table before we add the black paint. We're gonna add the black paint to the corners. Also a little bit in the middle and around the edges. Okay, so we're just gonna start by smudging this all into the small cracks and dents in the table. The cracks in the pine are very bright. This also helps to make it look less brand new. A lot more contrast and difference in color right now. Looks so much better. We're gonna leave random spots like this as well, and then like sand it down a little bit. It's almost like creating shadows, <laughs> like using this sponge. It's so subtle. There we go, pretty much done. It looks <laughs> really weird right now. I think some of you might even cringe <laughs> because some of you think that we just ruined the table and hopefully we did not. But just bear with us and uh, well, you might even cringe when we're done with it, so whatever. But yeah, I think it looks great. I think as soon as we sand most of this away, it's gonna look great. It makes it a lot darker and more towards the, the color we were looking for. The reason why we painted more on the edges and the corners because we're gonna sand and remove, make it look a bit more worn towards the middle of the table and then leave some of the black. We're still gonna remove a lot of black here too, but that way you make it look naturally worn, hopefully. Well, that's the goal at least. A few hours or something. Just gonna wait a few hours for it to, uh, to dry up. So. So we're just gonna wait a few hours for it to dry up. It's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. So I'll start with a 120 grit. I got through the uh, paint and the stain pretty fast. So I'm gonna swap to the 240 grit and then 
just get a little bit more and then wipe it all off and see where we at. Maybe I should not have used the 120 grit. Looks like I can't get rid of this scratch that's from the 120 grit. Did I just look really bad? We'll sort it out. We'll get rid of the all the scratches. <laughs> It's starting to look old. <laughs> okay, let's uh, clean this up and uh, and add some more stain. Here goes nothing. That is pretty much it. One more thing. Let's uh, let's place this here, just in case. Dust that thing off. Holy snap! Uh, burning pain wood stain. Hella healthy. <coughs> Interesting. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, that's enough. That just looks a little bit weird. Enough playing around. Let's uh, put on the uh, the clear coat. I don't remember if it said thick layers. Thin layers. Thinner layers. That's it. Now we wait three hours for the next layer. Second layer is done, one more to go. Should be enough. Almost forgot to, <laughs> to paint the bottom side of the table. And just to clean things up, cover this in black. I mean, I would prefer to stain it, but it would be, it's not really worth it. This is the Cheap and simple version. Version. Nice.
so we're all done. Let's set it up and uh, show you guys what it looked like. That's it. Let us know in the comments what you thought about the table or the video. And uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you in the next one.